Hi, this is Rich Christensen. I'm here live with Steve Call. Steve is the ripping product manager with Styles Solid Wood. And today Steve's going to tell us more about the advantages of using moving blades in a rip saw. So Steve, you can tell us more about it, please. Okay. So from a standpoint of your traditional rip saw where you have fixed pockets and spacers or a straight line rip, a moving blade saw gives a lot more flexibility to the product that you're running. For example, Instead of trying to take boards and hand sort them before you ever run them to, to hit the pockets that you're going to be running, or to try to figure out what you can get out of a particular pocket as the best possible chance, really with the moving blade saw, you effectively, with each board, build a new arbor for that board and its own design. That helps you utilize, maximize the yield for that board, and also uh, get the cuts that you need more frequently. Now with the moving blade technology, the blades move on the shaft, the servo motors are highly precision. So yes, you can get a glue line with a moving blade machine and the tolerances are just as good. Now, another advantage of a strip, uh, moving blade rip saws is that it's not so imposing to the operator that if they're trying to move up from a straight line rim or a fixed gain application, that there's a lot of things to learn or it's really imposing to them and that they uh, feel intimidated. It's just as simple as entering the different widths that you would be running at any point in time into the system, which is as simple as just choosing the screen and entering a particular width for that cut list that you're going to run. Once you have the width in the cut list, it's as simple as cutting on the machine. You have joystick controls on the lasers. The lasers indicate on the board exactly where the cut positions are. I can switch between the moving blades simply by pushing the button and you notice the line indicates which blade is active, blade one or blade two. As I activate blade one, I can move the joystick and it will topple through the different widths that is chosen within the cut limit for that blade. I can do the same thing with blade two, just by switching to blade two and doing the same thing. Now, if I'm an application to where I'm doing a glue up or a square of a lumber in which I want to maximize the yield on the board and maximize the width of the board, I can also, with the moving blade saw, just randomly move the blade into position as needed to maximize that cut. So literally, I can get the maximum yield out of the board as possible. Then to send the board through, all I have to do is just push down and the board goes. I can also move my fence back and forth to shape to get the board where it needs to be. Thank you, Steve.